Removing the clutch pedal assembly, I would start with the clutch cable. It needs to lift up over the slot and then towards the firewall. There's also four, four nuts in place here. Clutch pedal assembly. I went ahead and put paper over the pedals because I got tired of hitting my head where my feet go. From what I can tell, so far, there are four bolts that go behind, uh, in the middle of that plate there, two there, two on the other side, uh, right behind the brake pedal. There's two bolts at top, which, uh, one is right there, and then the other one is uh, right back here, uh, above these wires. And there is a small bolt, I don't know if I can get the camera in there, somewhere up there on the, on the driver's side. Um, it's a rather small bolt, uh, I think it's there. And then there's also a cotter pin on the brake pedal right there. Pull that, uh, and then you can pull the lever off. because the brake pedal appears to be attached to the whole clutch pedal assembly. So you want to take it off that plunger right back there. There's also the clutch cable, um, which I have not removed yet because there's some tension on it. It's probably best to remove it from the back, from the underneath the vehicle, off the transmission lever, and then release it. There's also these two connectors, uh, one here, which is on the brake pedal. It's I believe it's controlling the brake lights. And uh, this one, which is connected to the clutch pedal for on most vehicles, but on mine, I bypassed it because it went bad quite a while back. It's uh, the safety the safety start switch, I believe is what it's called, something along those lines. But most vehicles, you would need to disconnect that one as well. To get to the 10, millim 10 millimeter uh, nut that's all the way at the top, that was hard to see. I had to take this panel off underneath the steering column. And that, I don't know if you can see it, uh, not that one. It is a little, where to go, a little higher. It's tough to see in there, and if I have my finger in the way of the camera, that helps even less. But I can't quite get the camera in there, but that, that bolt you saw a second ago, there's a nut a little bit above it. I'm going to have to get at it from here. Oh, wait, there. There it is. I found a third bolt um, at the very top. And that tiny 10, mil 10, mil 10 millimeter bolt that was hidden up there, turns out I had a little buddy further in that I couldn't even see. So a 10 millimeter ratcheting wrench, eh, a lot of patience, <sighs> and a lot of cussing, and it's out. Let's see if I can get this past that, that plunger. I uh, had to disconnect some more of the wires because some of these connectors were in the way. Uh, I'd suggest taking out as many as possible, but I'm going to see if I can get past these two because they're kind of stubborn. Now, I very carefully pushed that push rod in uh, out the firewall because it belongs to the brake booster and I have not taken the master cylinder off. And with these metal lines, you risk crimping them and damaging them, and that's really bad for your brake system. Um, I disconnected the hose from the brake booster uh, up to the engine side, so it gave me a little, little more leeway pushing this out of the way. And again, I can't even stress enough how careful you should be. Yeah, uh, you really should take the master cylinder off, but I'm doing this without that, seeing if it'll, if I can get it to work if I can get the pedals out around it. I'm removing the master cylinder and the brake booster. Remove the cap. I took a syringe and uh, drained all the fluid out of it. Then well, the lines are 10 millimeters, so clean them off really well so there's no chance of slipping uh, with the wrench and rounding off the, the nuts. And then 10 millimeter removed them. And I also had to remove my, my old alarm siren so the brake booster would clear, but it should pull right out. Oh yes, and also disconnect the, the electrical connector and 
the hose to the brake booster. The brake booster out of the way, I just moved this around, the assembly around until it, until I was able to clear everything and remove it. Um, when you put it back together, uh, do the reverse. I would suggest putting the brake, the pedal assembly back in first, then install the brake booster, and of course, you know, bleed the brakes properly after you connect everything. I don't see any obvious weld cracks. Now to remove the clutch shaft out of the pedal assembly, I slowly move this out of out of the slot from the threaded side. And once I was able to get this out, be gentle because it's 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 plastic or nylon. Once I got that out, the rod pulled right out, and I just had to unhook the spring, ready for inspection. Everything's reinstalled. Brake booster's reconnected to the brake pedal. Bolts are in place. Can't really see them, but the bolts above. There's one. Uh, those are in. Reconnected. A clutch cable. Uh, I am not able to get to the tiny 10 millimeter bolts that were straight up here. Uh, I can see one from this angle. I don't know if I can get the camera over there. The other one you can't see at all. You can't even feel it. And I came up with an idea. Double-sided tape. I can only reach it with one with my fingertip. It, it was a pain getting it out, but double-sided tape on my fingertip. and the nut. Make sure you turn it the right way, otherwise it's not going to do any good. And it's definitely going to be tricky. Also reinstalled the brake booster while I was there. I cleaned it up a bit. Cleaned up the Mac Master Cylinder. Reconnected. Filled it up with fluid. I'm about to start bleeding the brakes. And should be good to go after that.